Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> okay, so this has been incredibly requested after we watched um, Jonah do the the Queen of the Night performance that totally blew my freaking songs away. Yeah, so here is with, with Clarice. A Clarice, or Clarice. And I think it's Clarice, and they're a cover of uh, Tell Him. Okay. They're a separated cover, they're not in the same room. Right. song i was like wait i feel like barbara Str sorry my bad <laughs> i just had to clear my head <laughs> surprising yeah it's just so simplicity sometimes is so key like you know just in the video of what they're doing vocally is not simple at all but the video and, and sort of a, uh, the way it's been mixed and the way it's been kind of a, a highlighted specific places of their voices which make 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 this uh, sort of give it this uh, 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 big what, what do you call that reverb it's always like uh, big hole big hole type yeah, of thing yeah, yeah. right where you're kind of like in this empty church mm. you know and you're just walking through and it gives you these what the f are those voices that are sound are they angels or yeah, what, what yeah, is yeah. that you know i i actually believe that it, it is doing such a great job of honoring the the original you've also what a weird choice to pick like of well, the because songs. jonah it's obviously like uh what was it what was the thing that people told me in the comments anyway she does opera she does a lot of classic she's a, yeah, yeah probably one of the best singers in the Philippines. Uh, and that's that's a sentence and a half. Because <laughs> the Philippines is just flooded with them. Um, so yeah, it doesn't surprise me that they would choose somewhat difficult songs. No, or... it's, it's just an unusual pick. Even even when you're in the musical theater industry, you well, that wouldn't really be that's that not a people. popular choice of, of songs. Interesting. You know, it's, it's I not... I know that. Yeah, it, that's why I'm saying it's, it's a very peculiar pick right. of song and, and not only because of its natural difficulty but because of what it actually represents you're talking about absolute legends of the game Celine Dion and Barbara Streisand just together you were up. yeah 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 right. I was trying to like because in my head it was like this is definitely Barbara Streisand and I just couldn't pick who else he was with but it's with Celine Dion too so yeah I mean legends and they're doing such an amazing Great job, I don't know how to say it. Yeah, <laughs> it's <yeah>. so good. <laughs>
Jonah's capabilities of uh, doing so many different styles, right? Well, like, um, like radically different. Well, uh, radically different. Uh, remember, all singing. Dude, didn't you see what? Yeah, but you all... saw that opera thing she was doing, right? Here, here, and it had no pop quality at all. When here's, she was doing it. here's my, my logic, my logic thinking of it. Not yeah. that my actual brain believes it, because <laughs> right, right. that is literally crazy. Uh, because what you're saying is the most logical thing, right? Uh, but remember that all singing, yeah. that all singing uh, that we know today comes from classical training. Yes. So yes, when you're is, able yeah. to do the craziest stuff classically trained possible, the most difficult pieces, part of your um, repertoire, anything they, they rise after that. Yeah, you you're able to model and modulate and adjust and change according to the style a lot easier than anybody that's trying to do it the other way around that say that you're a pop singer trying to learn classical oh. it is very it's very hard classical. but if you try in classical and and not saying that it's an easy progression but it is easy, easier because uh, yeah. uh, you, you know what your body's capable of it's like training for a marathon and then doing a, a 10k run what it's like training for a marathon, right. right? So it's like how many, like 42, 26, 26 miles, miles, right? Yeah. And then doing like a mile run with all that preparation and knowledge. Okay. If you change a genres, okay. you feel me? Okay. So like you're able to see what your body's Probably. able to do at a, at a, a, a demanding state and then use that and modulate that according to the new challenge that you have in your plate, which is, for example, musical uh, training or a pop song or... Do you feel me? It's just adjusting and modulating. It's it's not easy because you're yeah. also able to know what it requires from you as a true, singer. True. But it's the same. But, uh, it's, maybe not uh, a bad analogy then. The one you, I was about to say, maybe not the best analogy because you do a marathon, right? It, maybe a better analogy would have been a marathon race and then a one mile race because you're 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 going flat out now you know a marathon doesn't require you to go flat out you know but, but when point. you do but what is the, the okay what is the the smallest marathon that you could do well junior marathon 5k well there you go it's like doing a 5k marathon after training and running a full marathon but competing in it yeah yeah, 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 of, course. Number one. yeah, yeah, yeah of course okay, okay at the same level but 
modulating with a different background, a training right. in it the background. It would be it would be easier for you to win that race than if you're used to competing in marathons. Exactly. Okay, I'm not okay. saying it's it's an easy no, no, process, no, I, but it's it's a. I understand because each each different each different uh, uh, event requires different. Has yes yeah, skills, yeah, but they're more transferable because you're you're you working already at a understand. higher level. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> you know what? They also had clothes on. If you want to buy, you know, everyone needs clothes. <laughs> we have our own clothing line. It's Future Friday merchandise. Yes. This actually just released last week. Is the official all over Future Friday logo, and uh, it's available world shipping for world shipping, and it's available now in the description below. So That's do right. click on that. Check our shop and uh, get yours to support the channel and the podcast that's right